no path that you ultimately want to get to your destination is straight and narrow. <laughs> I have a pretty like untraditional like path to tech. A lot of people go to school for it, but I did not. I went to culinary school. I was doing Uber for eight years as a stay-at-home dad, and I was picking up all these tech people from Seattle, like Amazon developers, de uh, senior developers at Microsoft, and they were talking to me and telling me how they used to be like an English teacher. Through those interactions with those passengers, that is what got me started on, on web development. I never would have really imagined that I'd be working in tech, but once the pandemic hit, um, you know, especially here in New York, the restaurant industry was pretty much obliterated. I worked professionally as a DJ in a, in a couple of different clubs in the Bronx, and, you know, my mom and grandmother said, you're not going to do anything by just being a DJ. I mean, get out of my own way and work, you know, instead of in the business, on the business. One of the huge problems that I particularly face in certain roles that I've worked for, uh, even certain startups, you know, being the guy that can code and that can design, uh, there's a lot of pressure there to um, be the guy that does it all. So really I am from Syria. Syria was a country of war, so I had to flee Syria with my family. We went to Turkey. I was lucky after that time, um, because I was classified as a scholar at risk and I had the opportunity to come to the United States in 2014. I started independently contracting for companies, especially with startups, when I was 13 years old. I remember I had to attend business meetings during lunch hours in my school, which was a little bit different from what other kids were doing at the time. And it's helped me a lot throughout my career, just being able to act maturely in front of my peers. The thing that led me to decide that I needed to get another opportunity was that I was in a meeting and the person that I was talking to, he didn't think that I had done something like quick enough and he was saying something like, why do I always have to peel the banana for you? I think that was basically the last straw for me, that I don't deserve to be treated like this. I have a tattoo on my forearm that says, progression, not perfection, one day at a time. And I used to be a person who used to chase perfection all the time and used to be really hard on myself if I was not perfect every step of the way. But then I realized how harmful it was for my own mental health. And it was like a change in mindset that I had to like make. I thought for the sake of my mental health, for the sake of my career, um, that I needed to look for an environment where I was a culture fit for sure. One of the things I wanted to mention is that uh, when you're a self-employed entrepreneur, there's like no 100% stability 365 days a year. I mean, again, some months are good, some are not, uh, some years are good, some years are challenging. So on the other hand, I kind of like this challenge. It kind of makes you stronger, you know. I think under the impression of tech, it's always you're going to work, work, work. You're going to work 24 seven or, you know, even just working the eight hours. When I was first getting into this, I was like, wow, I get exhausted just, you know, working a couple hours, like how am I ever gonna survive this job? But you realize that it's it's really just about efficiencies, how you're how you're evaluated. That's where they actually respect you for, for knowing things, not just who can code the most and get everything done. I'm definitely most proud of just kind of my journey from like where I started to where I am now. The most important part is just believing in yourself, never giving up, don't listen to the naysayers. Uh, Listen to your heart, follow your intuition, follow your inspiration, your desire. Uh, when, when you do the work that you love, it's like nothing can stop you, you know, stars, the sky's the limit. People get faced with so many challenges, and especially in this day and age with things going on, especially in tech right now, but don't let it define you, right? Keep going, um, because you never know what's out there, the next opportunity or possibility.